so I do have a little good news. The battery, <clears throat> I was able to start my car and the battery actually, I just read the engine up a little bit for about a minute or two. And I want to show you that I actually got 13 volts. Hold on, let me see if I can do this with one hand here. It's kind of hard. But, um, so if I just tap, uh, I got this multimeter here and it was showing 13 volts a second ago. There you go, 13.2. So that is good news, but I'm, I'm keeping the actual um, battery connectors off so that way it won't kill the, or drain the battery. But what I'm gonna do, since I know that the alternators usually give about 14 volts to the battery whenever it's running to charge the battery when, it's, when the car is running, so I'm still going to connect my actual battery charger just to make sure I don't have to worry about the battery acting weird or like sl slightly dying or something when I'm not even having it connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect this. Let me pause the video. I'll connect this and I got this long extension cord coming from my office coming all the way over here so I'll be able to actually... Uh, I'll be able to actually show you that it's charging. So give me a second, I'm gonna pause the video, get everything connected, and then once I start the video, I'll turn on the this um, <clears throat> power switch here to actually show you that the charger turns on and it will be showing that it's charging. It'll be going up to probably like 14 volts or so, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. So let me pause the video, and then I'll go ahead and do that, hold on. All right, you guys, so I got the battery charger connected so I got positive on this left hand side and negative on the right so all I gotta do is flip the switch and then it'll be showing that it's charging one two three there it goes and you'll even hear a fan there it goes there it goes so now it's on and then it'll have a fan just to cool it down so if you can hear that there's a fan running inside of here to keep it from getting too hot so like you know it's florida so it gets pretty hot out here sometimes so that's a good thing so that we don't have to worry about frying out the charger anyway um so i bought this for about like 50 bucks off of amazon and that's what i was showing you the box for because just in case you wanted to get your own for your camaro you can see what it looks like and you can go ahead and get your own anyway so i keep this charger in the trunk right next to the battery just in case I have to use it and I will be doing the same thing for the multimeter that I have that I was just showing you that I had 12, 13 volts so I'll be leaving all this in here and also I will be using this pen paper and my multi my caliper anyway to measure out the Thick, the thickness and the width and everything of this um, pipe that's the, for the locking latch mechanism. So it's the latch basically that holds the trunk locked. So I just want to make sure that I have that made and 3D printed and so that way I can cover this so that way we'll never have to worry about it locking again if the battery is like dead. If I do decide to go ahead and um, chart to connect my car battery connectors to the car again and take the charger off then I won't have to worry about the actual trunk being latched and then locked in place so I mean I did try using my key fob and even the button on the actual door my driver door to see if I can pop the trunk but I wasn't able to do so until I had my friend jump the car so the trunk was locked in place and I wasn't able to get to the battery because all the stuff I have in here. And then plus like the latch that I was mentioning, this one right here, wasn't actually opening up the trunk either for some reason. So now this is gonna be my go-to. I mean, I live in an area that I don't have to worry about anybody coming to my car or messing with it so I can leave the trunk unlocked so that way I don't have to worry about I mean, nobody's going to steal anything in here anyway. There ain't really anything in here to steal, but either way, 
I just want to make sure that you guys are aware and if you do want the I will be making a part two but if you do want to buy one of the trunk cover um, the trunk latch covers uh, let me know in the comments for the next episode um, next part because I want to make sure that if I decide to make a few of them if somebody does want to buy one from me then they will be able to do so and I'm not going to charge much. I'll probably charge maybe like $10, $15, depending on like shipping and where you're located. But, um, because I'm pretty sure I probably won't be having you guys be paying for shipping either, just for a one little cover. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that big because the latch doesn't really look, the, the holder doesn't really look all that big anyway. So, I'll probably be charging about like 15 bucks with the truck because of the shipping and stuff. But either way, Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.